Hello traders, now it is the end of the week and it's time for my weekly recap video. Uh, in this video I would like to present you uh, our trading plans for this week, live signals which I shared with you on Twitter and how everything worked out. So let's get started. At the beginning of the week I've posted a trading, a long-term trading plan on the Great British Pound USD currency pair which we'll see now. So the plan was posted right here after this uh, level was broken and my expectations for the price were to drop to around this area then probably have uh, some sort of consolidation before continuing to this weekly and daily support which is our main target. Now let's see how the plan developed. As we can see uh, the price dropped here touching that area went back up to this uh, previous top and then plundered down uh, breaking this H4 area of stoppage and probably uh, going closer uh, to our weekly and daily support which is our main target. Now I managed to post uh, one live signal uh, based on this trading plan which I will show you now on Twitter actually I can show it directly here so the entry was taken here on this candle uh, I took that entry uh, due to a few reasons first of all this was uh, the price making a new bottom as you can see broken this bottom here and the second thing was that we had a small consolidation which uh, is actually a square formation here and a Bollinger squeeze so this candle broke out of that squeeze and of that uh, consolidation area and also broke the previous bottom forming a new one I expected a continuation of the downtrend from here but unfortunately this was uh, more of a bull trap and price quickly retraced back up hitting our stop loss somewhere here. Uh, the only issue uh, with this trade was that uh, this entry here was very close to this H4 uh, stoppage area which we outlined in our plan. And since the entry was made on the M30 time frame, sorry, this is the H4, so it was made on the M30 time frame, I should have taken in consideration that the H4 downtrend might actually stop here, so we might see a reversal. Unfortunately, we got caught up in that bull trap and our stop loss was hit. After that, I was looking for a possible entry. Uh, when the price returned back to the 140 level here since I didn't expect a break of that level uh, I was out of the office at that time when the price reached it uh, so I couldn't take that entry but here you had a great opportunity because on the M30 you had a bullish bearish engulfing exactly at that level and at the same time this bullish engulfing uh, happened on the previous top the price made here so that would have been a perfect entry for you I hope you managed to take it as you can see it made quite some profit also another entry you could have taken was here where again price formed a square formation sorry about that a square formation and it was heavily broken with a huge uh, bearish candle as you can see the drop was nice I will continue looking on this plan for sell opportunities since our target is still far far away uh, so you will he hear from me again this week on this plan uh, the other plan which I shared with you was a short-term trading plan on the cat Japanese yen currency pair now let's see uh, what happened with it. So this is where I posted uh, my trading plan. My expectations were 
for the price to make a decision on this level here either to go back up or if a break occurs to go down to here or probably even to here by the end of the week so let's see what happened as you can see the plan was posted here and right after that a nice upswing followed reaching exactly to our buy target zone now what I want to share with you here is uh, since we didn't post any life signal on that uh, short-term trading plan I want to share with you how you could have traded that, that profitably here is the graph uh, this line resembles where uh, the plan was posted this is the decision level and again our targets uh, this is the uh, one hour time frame on which I post my uh, short-term training plans and the idea is to trade them on the lower time frame so M15 the 15 minutes time frame or even the 55 minutes time frame so let's see on the 15 minutes time frame if we had an opportunity to enter okay so <clears throat> I wouldn't consider this a uh, perfect opportunity as we had a square here but uh, the break also this was the previous bottom but the break the problem was with the break since it was here and uh, this break is not uh, expanding the Bollingers so the actual entry should have been like somewhere here or even further here and we are losing all this in movement in profit that is why it's better to look for an entry on the lower time frames let's see what we had on the M5 okay I'll delete that so it would be easier for you to see now what did we have on the M5 we had a movement down here although not a strong one and then we saw the price made a small consolidation usually those types of consolidations will act as a small uh, resistance area when price uh, retraces back to them as you can see <clears throat> after it bounced the price bounced from the uh, decision level it touched this previous consolidation and dropped back down so the break of this uh, area would mean that the price is ready for an uptrend so I would enter somewhere here and put my stop loss right below that uh, area somewhere here as you can see uh, although price uh, was not sure if it will go up it uh, stayed a while here but quickly exploded up and went to our uh, by target area so this is from me I hope uh, this video has been helpful in any way uh, I wish everyone a good weekend and uh, see you next week thank you